Hello, Taurus. It is time for your Thunderdome reading for mid. Oh, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be mid April to May of this current year. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're gonna be doing two people, you and who you're dealing with. So you just keep whoever you think of in mind who's pissing you off, and we might pick them up because that's how it works. Uh. No, oh, yeah, sorry. Right, let's begin with group one. All right, All right, we have. Six of Wands. Victory. Next card. It's so weird because, like, I never noticed, except for this card, that the border is white on these cards. And it's just, like, it just very much illuminated with, like, bright light, bright vibrations. A lot of hands with, like, really nice manicures and such, right? Um, your Wands and Wishes, Ace of Cups, Reverse. Seven of Wands in your fears, as well as your rejections. The lovers. Gemini, possibly. That's the situation. Eight of Cups reverse is the obstacles, as well as the challenges that lay before you, group one. And Six of Pentacles is the catalyst, as well as final result. And the beginning theme is Five of Cups reverse. Someone won't let go of shit. Someone keeps nagging someone about shit. Someone keeps bringing things up. Like, the cups have been spilled for a while. It's just someone can't get over it. You know. They're very un unhappy. They're very, very nettled. Right? Let's see. What is the first card for creep one? Right? Right. So some of you are definitely looking at a victory. Whatever you're dealing with right here. Or however you're feeling about yourself. You're feeling like a little bit victorious. Or you feel like people are coming to your side to help you celebrate. People are in your corner. Yeah, you're ready to ride off with that victory too. Everyone's gathered around you to help celebrate. And you're ready just to take off. You have people on your side. Willing to support you. So you can take that Knight of Wands energy and take off. I don't feel like that's sexual, though. I don't feel like it. he's going, like, you know, <laughs> with his penis or anything, right? It's not like a booty call thing. So it's definitely just, like, the drive to go somewhere. But we have the lovers down here in the situation. Could be with the Gemini. But it's like these two people are like embracing each other. He's about to kiss her, but he's also got a snake uh, biting into him as well. So there might be somebody who's not entirely in it to win it. That bitch has got some funky ass toenails. Like, look at this. Look at her toes. Like, trim your nails. <laughs> Yeah, someone's definitely going inside to look over this relationship. There might be a lot of love here. But, what? I can't even see the toenails. Look at her nails. Look at those toes. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, it's okay. like freaking Tim Burton shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my husband had to see. But, like, yeah, like, someone's definitely going inside trying to examine this relationship they're in with those lovers. Like, they might still really love the person, but it's like, eh, ah, mm. Like, one of those people are not groovy. Ace of Cups, like, the wants and wishes, possibly somebody wanting an apology that's not going to come their way. And it's definitely not coming their way. With the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it, it's just not happening. There's no movement with this. There's no beginning. Um, there's no energy behind it. There's no, like, this is Sagittarian energy. And, like, Sagittarius is like, go, 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 go. They put in all the extra. And I only know that because I'm Sag rising, right? So, like, there's kind of that push to the envelope, but that's not here. Nothing's pushing for an Ace of Cups to start. This Ace of Cups isn't here. And it's almost like it's being drained. And with the, what's going against somebody, down in the, uh, Obstacles, challenges, and shit like that. Like, someone wants to walk away. 
but they can't because that one cup's keeping them right there. But it's like, you know, you got to break up. Once again, this is a couple's card. Like, someone knows that they need to look at this relationship, but they're having a hard time letting it go. With the two of cups reversed, so it's like, yeah. But someone still is not letting shit go, but they don't want to be left out in the cold wanting to come back in either. But it's just kind of like, I, I don't know, man. I Like, or some the bullshit is on someone so much that they want to be out in the cold. They'd rather be there. Now, the eight of wands messages and shit, right? Like, this woman's waiting for something to come in. So she can make movement. It's all about movement, change, swift haste. Um, getting stuff done, right? Yeah. Someone is afraid of a message and wanting to come back in from the cold. Like someone doesn't want to be. Someone definitely wants to take out of the, get out of this. Someone's waiting to be told, oh, it's okay, baby, you can come back in. Which is just like, well, why? Like, look at this liability behind you. This isn't even an actual person. This is like a ghost of all the bullshit that this person, like, like, just imagine this is you walking, but this was you back in the day when you were in that fucking house. Abused, hurt, broken, be beaten, treated like you don't matter. But here you are walking past that, just being like, I I'm not going back in that area ever again. And I think that's a fear for some of you. In group one, some of you might feel like if someone says a message, you're afraid you're going to go back in. That's why you're having such issues with um, this relationship you do want to break off of. And look here, six of pentacles in the catalyst as well as the final result. Um, someone is being greedy. Like, they're only giving so much to this one person. They got, like, five more back behind them. Like, there needs to be a call for balance. Because apparently there was a third-party situation, and that's why someone was too miserly to give. Yeah, I'd say you go with your friends and, 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 and take your horsepower and go nay in some other person. Because, like, fuck this person. If they make you feel that way. I don't know the rest of the story, though. And I haven't gone to group two. But it's like, someone's in this vibration where, like, they really want to get out of this. But they just feel like they can't. Like, if you're wanting to break this off, there's just no energy in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but someone... It's definitely being greedy, being unfair, not ruling correctly, being an absolute jerk. And not letting somebody live something down. Like, you know, like, like if, if, if someone cheats, but they're just like, it's okay, baby, you can come home. I forgive you. But the person keeps bringing it up after they say they forgive you. They're not really forgiving you as much as they're trying to punish you. That kind of thing. You know, that, I mean, that's what it kind of feels like to me, especially with the relationship thing. It's like, no matter what, this person is just going to look this way. But when, when they turn to you, it's like they, they look away when bad shit happens to you. But when they turn around, they come and, and, and just start getting on you and getting under your skin and just talking shit. That's what I'm getting. Like abuse of power and abusing somebody else. A little bit. Yeah. One. Yeah, that like uh, break the fuck up. <laughs> like, there's a lack of commitment here. There's a lack of anything. Like, there's no commitment with this relationship, and that's what someone's really looking at. That's why they got their friends gathered around telling them, Hey, you need to go. That's exactly what this is. Yeah. Yeah, you need to let this go. Here's Eight of Cups reversed again. But in this deck, it means you're going to walk off for better things and greater joy. Because your cups are empty. So, yeah. You're, you're, you're hanging on, hoping that this relationship will come back together, but there's no energy for that. Um... You don't even want to start something new. 
You just want to walk away. Final advice card. Oh. Let's see. I'll pick this one. Yeah. All of this shit keeps happening despite the fact that behind the curtain. Yeah. Like, uh, well, what I mean is behind the curtain you're getting all of this stuff, but on the surface it looks like you're getting what you want. When in reality, you're just... D -d 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 -d, right? These other two cards. Lack of communication when it comes to somebody doing mind games and it not being successful anymore. These two came out extra, so it's like... Behind this curtain, there's no communication on who is fucking with whose head. But the person who is fucking with people's heads is going to end up standing there, watching everyone walk away, and then wondering why nobody wants to talk to them anymore. Probably because you're a dick. That's all. But we're going to go ahead and move on to group two. So group two, prepare thine aidance. For we are going to see what is up with y'all. Yes. I'll have a fight with my husband's here because then it makes it more entertaining. <laughs> All right, great. Two. Let's see what we're going to do with you. I'm so happy I can shuffle. Hey. Tell them right or don't tell them at all, man. <laughs> Aww. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what you were doing. I was sitting here like, please don't throw my cat outside. Oh, yeah, I was going to chuck her out. No, you're going to chuck her right to the Jeep. <laughs> okay, group two. Let's get started with you. And no whammy. Let's see what you're dealing with on your side. We have. You're trying to just get the fuck out of Dodge, too. Seven of Wands. The High Priestess. Uh, High Priestess in the Wants and Wishes. Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. In the Fears and Rejections. This reminds me of somebody. I don't know who yet, but it does remind me of somebody. The Sun, Reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo in the situation. Uh... Nine of Pentacles in the obstacles as well as challenges coming against you. The Two of Swords reverse in the catalyst as well as the final result. And the beginning theme is the Hierophant once again. No commitment. Lack of commitment. No marriage. No whatever. Someone just isn't doing what they're supposed to do. Someone isn't doing the right thing. Someone isn't mor being morally correct. Someone needs to make a decision. Because they are making the decision down here. Right? Right. Okay, let's see. So, group two. We have for you the Seven of Wands. You see a way out. There is fire and chaos all around you, but you're on the right path to get out of where it is you are. So, that's a good thing. Oops. Yeah, look at you, group two, and you're definitely able to uh, manifest that as well. Ooh. Or maybe you manifest all the shit going on around you you need to escape from. One of the two. I can't tell yet, but we're going to get there, right? Group one seems like they're very bent on, um, like they're trying to look at the relationship, I think, and find some good, but I don't know what you see in it, so. And down here with the sun reversed, you're unhappy. There's a cloud over your happiness. Like, you're capable of smiling, but you really don't mean it. You know, kind of like one of those, um, I love you. Sure you do. You know, one of those vibrations, right? Yeah, you want to go somewhere. You get Sagittarius Aries energy. You want to, I mean, it might be impulsive. It might just be kata, but something in your head's telling you you're not happy and you need to leave. Hence the Seven of Wands up here. Yeah. The High Priestess sets a want and wish. There's something hidden behind her. Yeah, don't know what it is. 
But it is definitely like, she is letting one thing be known. Could be Taurus, or like I like to say this is Taurus more than it is Virgo, right? Just cause Taurus would have all this stuff, filters, the duck lips, the duck lips, the duck lips. They wouldn't, what? they don't, they don't like duck lips, but they'll be the first ones to do it. That's just Taurus right there, right? But yeah, someone wants to be self-made. Someone wants to stand on their own. Someone wants to be pro prosperous on their own and, and make a road made out of grapevines and shit. Or with the design. I don't know. I don't get the outfit, but it, he could do whatever the fuck he wants, okay? Um, King of Pentacles. But yeah, like somebody wants to stand on their own. That's a wants and wish. You aren't saying why, but you are saying that's what you want to do. Definitely want to establish yourself. Unfortunately, we have the Nine of Pentacles down here, which is like someone trying to fit themselves into almost a category. Um, with this deck, I like to say someone is not dreaming, but they are definitely like establishing themselves. Um, t literally cut off their arms so they can fit in this fabulous suit to look great, right? That kind of thing. Like making yourself look good. Making yourself noticeable. We got a book. We'll go with the book. I'm gonna leave that there for that. Let's see. In the past, there was a lot of conflict here, right? And now, if someone feels like they're getting spied on when it comes to what it is. Wait. It's like somebody found something or is snooping for something that snaps them out of those days where they don't really want to concentrate or think on anything. And now they are using their strength to rule accordingly. Unlike the last person who was reversed. Or this could be like a fire sign like restricting your shitty behavior, but I don't think so. And with this nine of pentacles, someone's got to like identify themselves with either one world or the other. You can't have both. Like, what I'm gathering is you can't, like, sit there and say that, like, you want to establish yourself but not do anything to, um, get yourself out of the fire first, it almost seems like. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? Everything's pointing to you wanting to go. Knight of, of, almost said pentacles, cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, offering up a cup of love, possibly meaning it, but they're really immature. I feel like probably a dick, but you know, it's water signs, they're all dicks, right? Nothing wrong with being a dick, because you know, it's not like earth signs aren't assholes. Fire signs are just cater to spoiled brats who expect everything they want immediately. <laughs> but yeah, like, most water signs are dicks. Like, it's weird. Most water signs will get mad at you for getting mad at them. And then think that's justification to make you more angry at them. I've never understood that, but it's just water. Well, I kind of understand it because I am Capricorn and I do like fluctuate with my emotions. Um, the difference it <laughs> the difference is, is I only detach from some of them. Oh, what? There's a fear of um. Are you afraid of group two? Are you afraid of offering your cup only to have to walk away from it? Or is somebody offering your cup when in reality they are happier without you? Because someone's offering your cup, but like this is the card of walking away with great joy and things. It's like, are you afraid someone's going to take their cup elsewhere? I mean, is that the whole deal? Because <laughs> I could see why... um. 
I could almost see why group one is taking off if that's the case. Like, like you're keeping secrets while you're acting like, you know, you're the person in charge of everything. Or you're established, which is just like, you know, you're the reason why you're running out of the fucking woods on fire. Two of Swords, indecision, catalyst as well as the final results. Yeah, it's causing you to be impatient. You not being able to come to a one choice or another has caused you to be very impatient. Probably cult leader like this could be a Sagittarius, or it could be just somebody who does not want to communicate or come together with people. Could almost establish like dealing with a cult. Just putting that out there, because Sagittarius definitely has something to do with like religious sex, um, ordinances, like intuition from on high. Or it could be a Sagittarius just coming off as being the brat, just being like, but why? Like you know, shit like that, right? Oh, oh. Oh, Seven of Swords is the ending theme. Someone's sneaking, and that's why they can't commit. Someone's being treacherous, and that's why they cannot commit. Someone is too busy being... A sneaky Steve. Steve and their sneaks all over the place. What are three advice cards for group two right here? Okay. Yeah, this is being driven forward. You not being happy, you feeling like you need to get out, even though I feel like you kind of like caused some things to happen. Just putting that out there. Not saying that like you did it on purpose or anything. Well, yeah, you, yeah, you did it on purpose. That's why you're keeping secrets. That's why you're sneaking. Like, if you can't be in a committed relationship, why would you let group one go? That's all I'm saying. For anyone in group two who is doing dirty to group one, maybe you should let them go. Because it's not like you're being very kind right now. You really gonna play with your food right now? Well, I got a metal shelf up here. Hence why Vash the Stampede is up here, right? Oh! Yeah, this person is probably the person I was talking about earlier. The one who uh, manipulated stuff and now gets to watch everyone else walk away. Like, this is kind of like, you know. Mm. And the last uh, two cards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, group two. I'm sorry for laughing, but it's like, no matter what options you juggle, all of the options are no good. At all. Like, in fact, they, like, the more you try, the more you struggle to try to figure out which choice you should make, um, the shittier your options get, the more emotionally confused you get, the more you, um, don't know which is good for you and which is bad for you. Like, if, even if you still offer your cup up, you're still going to have to walk away in order to make yourself better. Um, no matter how much indecision you have, it's just pissing you off. Or if someone's having indecision about you, that's pissing you off. But, you know, you kind of, I feel, I, I, I highly doubt that this was accidental. But that's just me. That is your reading, Taurus, and I will see you guys later. You have a good day, and thanks for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, just hit me up in my email below. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.